What is up YouTubers, it's Mushroom, and here we have a unique little video. It's an unboxing case video for the Kid Robot Huck G Apocalypse Dunny series. Um, actually, I take that back. It is the... Hold on. Post. Huck G's Post Apocalypse series. Um, if you guys collect Dunnies, you know that, that they released a series called the Apocalypse series. This is the follow-up to that, and it's all with uh, dunnies created by uh, an amazing toy designer named Huck G. So, uh, instead of wasting time, let's go ahead and start uh, checking these things out. I'm going to quickly get a razor blade so I can open... Oh, never mind, I found one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this stuff up and see what we got. Um... Again, children, if you're watching this video, please, please, please do not use any kind of sharp objects unless you have supervision of your parents. Uh, so, let's get plastic here. And here we go. Now, if you're not familiar with Kid Robot, they are one of the largest uh, companies that design um, vinyl uh, figurines. And... They package them in something called a blind box. This is a blind box. As you could tell, there's no indication of what's inside. Um, this is Huck G's design of the post-apocalypse series. Uh, you can see there's a dunny right here. This is the dunny. It has like little, it kind of looks like a rabbit with, uh, human type of characteristics. <laughs> and these are the various different 16, uh, I think it's 16. Let's see, seven. 10, no, 13, sorry. 13 figures. There's 16 in a box. Um, 13 characters that he did. Two are uh, Copter. One's Copter Copter Boy. One's Copter Girl. I'm not sure exactly what the names are, but uh, these are the various different figures. And again, this is a blind box. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. <coughs> um, tonight we had the love awesome awesome opportunity to hang out with the artist himself <coughs> where he actually signed uh some dunnies and stuff and actually hung out with with fans and stuff and it was really cool and this is the first one this is the uh i believe a s robot geisha and as you can tell there's a lot of like cool little accents and details um even has the uh little japanese style shoes and there's Huck G's name. And I don't know. These are like jet engines on the back of its head. But very, very cool. Um, they also give you a little uh, card. Trading card. It gives you information. And she actually has a bow that normally is on. But it was broken off. So that's not good. I'm going to have to go back to Kid Robot and get get a replacement. So that's the first one. Um, just so you know, these dunnies are made out of like a really durable, hard uh, vinyl. And then they're painted and they have all these like really unique details. So that's the first one. Here's the second one. Um, now this video is probably going to be a little long because... Opening these little bad boys is not an easy task. Um, but I'll try to get through as best as I can. And as fast as I can. Ah, here is Copter Boy. So, as you can see, here's... Uh, now, you might kind of recognize some of these things as being like Mad Max series. Uh, or Mad Max-esque. And I would say that you're absolutely right. This is Copter Boy. And he has a little prop, which is a propeller. And you stick it into the back, as you can see. And he basically has a propeller and he flies. Um, this is the Copter Boy version. Because of this uh, little mask, it's kind of like more masculine. The girl version is actually a pink and red mask. So there's that. I'm going to just set them aside and put them in the box later. Here we go with another one. Uh, 
this one, oh, this is one of my favorites of the series, the new series. This is the Cyborg uh, Dunny. So here's our buddy, uh, our Dunny, who's uh, got the his face. He's got a mask on, basically, and he's got a Cyborg suit. Uh, Double-barreled laser cannon on one side. And then he has his mask that he puts on. And it's a Cyborg mask, and as you can tell, it's pretty awesome. Um, again, the mind of Huck G. Uh, you know, I... <laughs> There's there's something amazing ticking away inside that head, and um, I'm always 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 very happy to see his uh, various different toys that come out. Let's see, here is another one. Oh, we got another Copter Boy. Okay. Now another thing to keep in mind: these are kind of uh, packaged in such a way where they're kind of rare and not rare. So, Copter Boy. Out of every 32 blind boxes, three of them will be Copter Boy. Out of every 32 blind boxes, one of them will be Copter Girl. Um, same here. Two out of 16 will be the Spear Guy. Uh, two out of 16 will be the Red Rhino um, with a double barrel pistol grip shotgun. Two, one out of 16 will be the Black Rhino. Black suited rhino with red bird, uh, double barreled pistol grip shotgun. Three out of uh, every 32 will be this gold geisha that we showed you. Same with the white silver geisha. Uh, the claw, uh, wolverine type clawed uh, girl with fuzzy boots is three out of every 32. Um, I mean, uh, 30, three, yeah, three out of every 32 boxes will be that. And out of the cyborgs, you have a gold, which I just showed you, a white, green, and a, like a silver orange. They're all one out of 16. And then you have these other two figures. Uh, this guy's got a mohawk, and he's got a samurai sword, and he's pretty badass. We don't know what his numbers are. And same with this guy, and he's got a black, uh, blacked out body with a question mark because he's what we call a chase meaning that's the one that nobody knows about and it's the rarest one and um, it's the one that everybody wants to find so it's kind of like that's the super treasure hunt and that's the regular treasure hunt so for all my Hot Wheels collectors fans that are watching and collect uh, viewers remember this one's kind of like the treasure hunt and this is kind of like the uh, super treasure hunt so going back another copter boy so Let's see, another box. Um, now, you can get all these items at kidrobot.com. Um, you can order directly online. And they will ship it over to you. I think if you order a, up to $100, shipping's free. Uh, cases cost $160 something because it's $10 per box and there's 16 in here. So that's, uh, you figure out that. Here's the green and silver, or green and gray. Cyborg Dunny, and if you pull off the mask, you see that it's a it's a gal. It's a little girl. It's a girl Dunny, so she's got little freckles and everything. Nice little uh, reddish auburn auburn or hair, and she has a double p double barreled uh, pistol cannon hand and danger sign on the back. That's really cool. Um, let's see, we got another. Box. It's Blind Box Mania. Um, and this one is. Oh, look. We have the other cyborg. So, here you, here you guys, we have all three cyborgs. Just to give you an idea, this is the set right here. Okay. And as you can tell, they're pretty darn cool. Um, they all have masks that you can put on. I'm leaving them in the bag because I'm not I'm not going to be uh, opening up all the accessories yet. But just to give you an idea, that's what they look like with their masks on. Very very cool. Again, uh, these are super super cool. I've I've been collecting Dunnies for little a uh, little over three maybe four years now, and Huck Chi, like I said, never fails to amaze and really uh, stoked me out with whatever he comes up with. Here's the red rhino, red suited rhino. Um, this one's one of my favorites because first of all look at that. He's got this crazy uh, rhino tusk and then he's got this 
cute little like bird just chilling on his head. Um, he's, I would say he lost his eyes in a battle and got clawed by, uh, the girl with the three prong claws. Um, I don't know what that means, but it's pretty funny. And what is his accessory? His accessory is this tiny little double barreled pistol. Or no, it's not a double barreled. It's a single 12 gauge pistol grip shotgun. And that is pretty badass. Go on up with the next one. Now, as you, as I was saying earlier, everybody's trying to get the super treasure hunt. And that super treasure hunt is the super chase, I guess you could call it. And that is this guy right here. And here we have the more rare uh, Rhino in the black suit. And he's got a pistol grip, 12 gauge pump shotgun. And instead of a blue bird, he's got a red bird. So this is like a color variant. Um, let's see, where's this guy? The Their suits are pretty similar. Um, and there you go. Just to give you an idea side by side. Um, let's see what we got right here. Now, let's see. Now, what's what's the point of all these things? Well, you got to figure. Oh, look, we have the very rare. Um, I would say this is what you call a regular treasure hunt, maybe, or I don't even know if you call it a treasure hunt, but it's a, this is a rare copter girl. She is one out of every 32 boxes will be her. And again, she has the little prop, the propeller, uh, accessory that says danger on it. Um, and that's really cool. So I'm pretty happy to get that. Um, so the point of this is you have a lot of like really, really talented artists, uh, who make toys and this is one of their um, avenues of doing so. If you look on the bottom of each box of the Kid Robot Dunny series, it says for ages 15 and up. So this is not for your little kids that, um, like Hot Wheels, for example, I think start at 3 plus. This starts at 15 plus. Um, this is not a toy, as it says. It's made in China. And, um, what? You know, there's some, some other saying on these boxes that... I, I'll have to find another dummy box so I can show you, but they have this like little motto where this is an art toy, not an actual toy toy, so. And here is the common again. Three out of 32, or two out of 16 will be this guy. Okay. Um, let's see, we're coming down to our last six boxes. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Let's see. Again, I have not had uh, an opportunity to find a Super Chase yet, so I'm hoping and hoping, hoping that I do. Here is the white and silver Geisha. And as you can see, this is her bows attached this time. Um, but she is very cool. Oh, they do have moving heads. And they do have moving arms. Though the range of motion is very limited and not so uh, major. Um, again, these are very cool. A lot of people like to collect these and display them. Um, people of note, if you know who Samantha Ronson is, she is a very big, uh, Dunny art toy collector. Um, however, I gotta tell you, this is not an, a cheap, uh, cheap, uh, hobby, I guess. This is uh, pretty expensive. These things, like I said, are $10 each. Um, so, go figure. Um, and here is the, the really rare, not super rare, but very rare, um, Mohawked Dunny. As you can see, look at that crazy Mohawk. He's got a vest on, and the vest says, Violent Running 2013. He's got some tats all over him and some bandages. Um, and he also has a mask that you can put on, has elastic, and you can actually put it on him. And that would be what he looks like with his mask on. Um, I forgot what this is, but it's a sim in Japanese it's a symbol for death. And where's his samurai sword? His sword... Oh, there it is. And that's his samurai sword. Pretty cool, huh? So that's that. He's the rare one. 
we don't know how much how many uh, production numbers he's got so you got to figure um, kind of like again like Hot Wheels nobody really knows how many Hot Wheels are being made of each treasure hunt or super treasure hunt so very very similar policies um, Again, I am trying to get the Super Treasure Hunt, but that's not coming out to be so easy. Here's uh, the guy with the spear, and this is 2 out of 16. Um, he's got a fanny shoulder sling pack with some whip or rope. Um, he's got a little ponytail on top. Um, and I think those are his clan emblems. Then he has a long spear, kind of like a spear sword. And as you can see, they attach together and create this long thing. So, um, uh, we got three more boxes left, guys. Thank you for watching this really, really long video. Um, again, this is not one of my normal videos. This is actually a another avenue of stuff that I collect. Um, and this one is the girl with the fuzzy boots and the tiger claws. And here she is, fuzzy boots. She's got a, like a mohawk ponytail, um, as you can tell. And then here are her tiger claws, and they do fit on her hands. So that's it. And then we got our last box. Um, let's see. Let's wonder what this is. Super treasure hunt. Nope, it's another fuzzy booted, uh, oh no, it's another spear guy, and again, he's 2 out of 16, so I've reached my max on him. And last, but not least, box number 16 out of my blind box dunny series, and this is a, uh, oh no, another broken geisha. This time, okay, so and this is another broken geisha, but this time her bow is nowhere to be found. Anyways, I'll go back to Kid Robot and get two new ones just because uh, this is a quality issue. Um, all right, so, anyways, uh, here he goes. Thanks for watching, thanks for getting, uh, getting to join me on my unboxing video of. My uh, other favorite passion collecting, and that's Dunnies. Um, please uh, leave any questions or comments down below. And the website again is kidrobot.com. The uh, person, this artist, his name is Huck G H U C K G E E, and I think he's Huck G Blogspot.com. Doc Blogspot.com. Um, I could be wrong, but there you go. Thanks for watching and keep your eyes out for my next video. I have an awesome, awesome nine pack unboxing that I got to share with you. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Hey guys, just uh, wanted to, same video and just wanted to point in real quick. So I had one more box to open and guess what I found? Yes, yes, yes. It is the super treasure hunt. The chase, uh, this guy right here. This is him. And he has a pistol grip shotgun and a mask with the death symbol on it, as well as that guy. And he is, uh, like I said, a super treasure hunt. This guy is actually selling right now on eBay for $90. Um, when people realize how hard it is to find, I think that's going to go higher. Last year's... Uh, uh, super super treasure hunt chase was some a figure called Tarzo that went for a hundred and seventy dollars. Not bad for a ten dollar investment. Of course, you have to go through all of these to find this guy, but there you go. So thanks again for watching. Thumbs up. Questions and comments down below. And booyah.